storming up the M90 today. It's a Friday evening, just after half five. Um, yep, so we're heading up to Glenfishy, is it? Glenfishy, just outside Carbridge and Moor, the back end of the Cairnworms. Nice one. So, yep, we're going to do a wee smash and grab tonight, so we're going to stay over and pitch up, but for the time being, we're on the road and uh, should be a good one. We'll let you know how we get on soon enough. Okay, so 20 to 8 at night, we're coming through Feshy Bridge. Uh, just a wee small village with a wee couple of bridges and narrow roads and stuff, but we're probably about uh, maybe 10 minutes away from finding where we're going to kip up for the night. Right, so, two of the camp. Liam with his light, me, car. <laughs> we changed the plan for the dinner. The rain came on and we decided to retreat into our respective tents. So this is me and mine. Quite happy with the amount of room in here actually. It's the first time I've pitched this tent and I'm happy with the way it's up. It's not loose, it's not saggy. I've got a shed load of Hello. space. So, um, slight adjustment to what we thought we were going to do, but it's not too bad. Um, we turned up here um, around about, I don't know, 45 minutes ago, rough estimate. Um, weller was nice and dry for us putting the tents up. It's pitch black like, but it's dry. And then we were thinking of getting firing the stoves up and um, having a hot meal, but unfortunately, slight alteration to that. So instead, we've, we're going to probably just use our grazing food, <laughs> which was meant to be for tomorrow, but we've, we've, we've got extra. To be a wee can of Red Bull, tropical edition. Uh, boy, treat myself four Empire biscuits. So Liam, if you want any, there's a couple going spare. Morning. So it's Saturday morning at just after 6 a.m. You can see it's still pitch black. Ooh. started in the pitch black and it's now ticking into daylight um, so we're getting there probably about two thirds of the way now something like that yeah so we've only got one uh, other pair uh, that are just in front of us so 
there's a couple of lassies doing it today as well, but apart from that, it's very, very quiet. Um, they turned up in the car, whereas we obviously pitched overnight. And, yep, you can probably tell there's not any wind or rain or anything, so <coughs> it is pretty nippy, to be honest. It has got like a really chill to the air, so we've managed to layer up a wee bit. But, anyway, we'll plow on. Yep. And, uh, so good so far. Alright, we'll see you up there. So, sweeping view in the clag, I believe it's Bria Rea. I don't think you can really see much else. Our summit though, it's pretty open. So this isn't it here, but that's a pretty fancy rock formation. We're a bit further up the back. Inducing drop down the Lucky Neck, across the free area. Right, Liam's head in the clouds. Another good eat done. Woohoo! So, we are just descending off the, uh, the summit now. It is currently two minutes to nine in the morning. Um, this one was about 1200. Meters, was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's quite a big one to be honest with you, but we started fresh and early, and then by the time we got to the summit, um, we've got a bit of sunrise, a bit of view, so we're quite quite grateful of that because yeah. we started in the dark. But this is us literally just coming off the top of the, the from the cairn now. Right, that's us down off the pathless terrain section. Didn't take too long, about 20 minutes or so. Back onto the path, it's path all the way back to the car now. Nice wide path. Yep, so all the heller and moss and whatnot that actually takes quite a while to go up the way. Um, you have to be careful on the ankles on the way down, but literally it's like you end up going like much faster on the way down as long as you're careful. Yeah. So, but yeah, Good we're actually on a gritty path now, which is cool. Good foot placement is all is essential. 